Welcome to the first in a series of four presentations to help prospective candidates learn more about BC general local elections. This year's general local election may take place during a pandemic. It may be important for prospective candidates to contact their local government to understand any procedures they have in place to administer this year's general local election during COVID-19. So you're thinking of running in a BC local election. Thank you for striving to contribute to your community. This presentation will give an overview of local elections, including the principles, timing, main organizations involved, and the legislation that sets the framework for BC general local elections. In BC, local elections are guided by principles fundamental to all elections, including openness, accessibility, fairness, and honesty. In BC, general local elections are held every four years. The upcoming general local elections are on Saturday, October 15, 2022. Across the province, general local elections are large in scale. There can be over 3,000 candidates running for more than 1,600 positions across more than 250 government bodies. These candidates run for positions as municipal mayors or councillors, regional district electoral area directors, school trustees, Islands Trust local trustees, local community commissioners, or specified parks board commissioners. Several organizations work together to administer and support general local elections across the province. Individual local governments and school boards and Elections BC are the main organizations that are involved in general local elections. Other organizations that are involved by providing education and supporting materials are the Local Government Management Association, the Ministry of Municipal Affairs, the Ministry of Education, the BC School Trustees Association, and the Union of BC Municipalities. Municipal councils, regional district boards, and some school boards appoint a chief election officer or CEO to administer general local elections. The CEO is an important contact and resource for potential candidates. The chief election officer is responsible for administering the general local election in their local government or school district. Their responsibilities include booking voting locations and voting opportunities, accepting nomination packages, and announcing election results. Elections BC administers, investigates, and enforces the campaign financing disclosure requirements, including campaign contribution limits and restrictions, expense limits, election advertising rules, and registration of elector organizations. Please see the Elections BC website or contact Elections BC staff for more information. The rules for general local elections are usually the same around the province. These rules are enshrined in provincial legislation, including these acts. The legislation covers voter eligibility, campaign financing, election advertising, and election offenses, just to name a few. There have also been some changes to legislation since the last election. Electors are no longer required to be a resident of a local jurisdiction for 30 days before the day of registration. Mail ballot voting is open to all eligible electors if mail ballot voting is permitted in an election bylaw. A new pre-campaign period extends the time during which election advertising is regulated and new monetary penalties have been established for failing to comply with campaign financing and advertising rules. 
The legislation allows for some flexibility for local governments to make choices that are better suited to their local community through their election procedure bylaw and sign bylaw. For example, a local government can decide whether to require a nomination deposit up to $100 or if mail ballot voting will be available to all electors. Local governments may have a sign bylaw to regulate the size, placement, and removal of signs and public advertising. The rules may be different between local governments, so it is important to be familiar with the sign bylaw and the election procedure bylaw for the local government you are running in. Detailed information for candidates can be found in the Candidate's Guide to Local Elections in BC, which is available online along with other resources about general local elections in BC. Thank you for considering running for a position as a locally elected official. Please see the other presentations in this series for information on general local election participants, candidate nominations, and voting and taking office.